Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dark Cloud. Um, as you can see, we're in Yellow Drops. Um, it's a very pretty town, the music's very pretty as well. Um, and we gotta go meet uh, the chief of these people. Um, I don't remember where I have to go, so I'm just gonna go into buildings until I find it. I think this is the one though. Yeah, look at that, cutscene. This is the factory that our boss is so proud of. What do you think? It's something, isn't it? I am Ladon. I am in charge of this factory. I was told about you. Nice to meet you. Oh, Samba is supposed to be your guide. He's not around. Yeah, he fucking ditched me because he's a prick. Well then. I will take his place and guide you. So I hear you need to know about the sealing ability. So the sealing technique. That is a secret skill from ancient times used by our ancestors. Maybe our boss knows. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go. I'm down to meet the boss of the moon people. This is the great factory our boss, the leader moon leader of the moon people, has created. There is nothing you can't make here. Unfortunately, the boss is not here. Along with testing the new module, he's entered a contest. If it's urgent to see him now, go to the Colosseum. The Colosseum is straight ahead, past the moon sea. However, the moon sea has changed recently. Monsters are lurking all over now. Also, the structure of the moon sea seems to have become more complicated. I'll walk you to the entrance of the moon sea. This way, please. Beyond this gate is the Moon Sea, but then it's quite different from any sea you know. Recently, many monsters started appearing in the Moon Sea. Stay sharp and be careful. Various recovery and support items are sold in this village. Be fully prepared before you set foot on the Moon Sea. So long now. This is great because if you were starting to get bored of the same old, same old, like which it's possible, you know, you've go to you've gone to three three towns by now, four towns. Uh, let's see, Norun, Matataki, uh, Queens, and Muscaraca. So that's four towns you've been to where you just. Uh, Where you uh, go into the dungeons, find the buildings, find the people, and then that's that's it, right? But like he's like, yeah, there's a store here already, so like you don't even have to build a store. Uh, I, don't, I have to find where the store is. I don't remember. So let's look. You're a weirdo. Fuck you. Okay, um, anyway. Yeah, there's already a store, so you don't have to, like, go find, build your own store. The little futuristic noises for the doors is great. We're gonna take a quick trip around Yellow Drop, so we can see the layout. Uh, hi, my name is Bonnie, I collect the rare moon items. I collect old items, do you have anything for me? Um, do you want this? No. Wait, I should have given that to, uh, Brooke. Shit. Uh, pretty sure that goes to Brooke. Let's see. 
you know this is where I came in look um I don't think I remember where the store is this is a different place right we haven't been over here have we we went to the other side no that was not the store This has got to be the store. To build up a stone sword increases the original NT basis evenly, then all five elemental attributes to the necessary level. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's the shop. He sells weapons for the next party member. I'm pretty good on supplies. I think I can just leave, yeah. Okay, so that was the shop. Now we know where the shop is. Oh my god, was it like directly to the left? And I just went the wrong way around? It was great. Ugh. Oh. I'm from Blue Terra? Yeah, I am from Blue Terra. Okay, um... We're gonna do a quick visit back to Muscaraca. Because I need to give this uh, foundation to Brooke, I believe. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's for, what's his face? Jibubu. That's right, because he has to be in his house, and we couldn't forget him in his house last time we were here. And then we forgot. Ooh. There we go. Is there an item in this world that increases one's beauty, I wonder? I have something like that. What? What is it? Foundation. Oh, this is. It sure is amazing. So this is the famed foundation. I'll take it. Thank you. Please accept this in return. Clay doll. It's like a caveman's toy, but at your, your at your young age, you might like it. All right. yellow drops and now we can go talk to that uh to the one bunny who said he likes ancient stuff i say it'll be nice that since i'm gonna use the same voice for all these people all these rabbit people i won't have to think about it that much here you go Whoa! Cool! Where did you get the clay doll? An ancient figurine clay doll made, made by an ancient people. And this model is like totally rare. There's only a couple of dozen of them. Can I please have it? Please? Sure. Alright! Yes, thank you very much. But, I see. I guess you can't, huh? Oh, I know. I will give you my treasure in return. Here. Boom. Sun. Acquired. Don't waste your breath telling me to give it back. I'm keeping this. This will be my new treasure. Thank you very much. You know what? You're welcome. Because that was worthless to me. And now I have... Um... Hold on, let me... Let's use the dagger. So base oh man i have so many things i forgot i was using the dagger as storage 
Okay, so we get the Sun Gem. And let's see what this gives us. Plus 10 attack. Plus 10 to all attributes. And plus 3 to all uh, enemies. So it's a good all around point uh, stone. So I'm going to keep it as a, like, a cap to use um on weapons just to increase their damage but yeah okay now we can go happily to the uh the ocean of death no wait am i going the wrong way See, this, that's where we come in right oh, wait can i just go that way no that's that's, that's the entrance didn't see the spikes i thought they were gone It sucks that I can't use Strand's Feather outside. Yeah, there it is. Alrighty, going to the Moon Dungeon for the first time. Let's uh, go. Oh, I love. All the music in this game is so good. Yeah, this is how you get around. This is great. <laughs> it's a cannon places. It's awesome. To the moon sea. As with the last dungeon, I'm gonna leave like the first floor or two here. And then I'll do new enemies, fuck ups, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, first floor, I'll probably leave the full thing in for sure. Because it's a new area, new music. Should enjoy it. Oh, no! Okay. Oh. Super Steve is going to get synth into the... Double Impact. Eventually. Nice tail muffin. Oh, Steve, I'm sorry. I'm gonna sell you. Helga? Helza. She is the twin sister. Those throwing apple. Ah! Don't pull too hard. My arms will break. <laughs> sorry, Steve. Target that. I'm no good. Steve, I'm sorry. I said I was gonna sell you or synthesize you. That's the gunpowder, that's the key to move between floors in this level, uh, in this map. Parts HID. Yeah, the moon people don't need me to come and solve their problems for them. I'm just here to ask them for a favor. Oh, map? Man, it's a lot of good stuff right off the bat. Die. Yes, I can do stuff again. Finally. Potato cakes. Die. Peach. It's funny because right now the main character. Oh, no, 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 no. Or me. Is the weakest member of the party right now. Uh, because I over leveled the um, the crap out of uh, muffin and uh, well, really everybody else. So. Right now, he's the weakest one, but as soon as we get more weapons, he'll be the strongest one. We'll be the strongest. Party members ain't shit. It's great, because it's like a lot of the same enemies, they're just like, you know, different. They're just different enough to the environment, and it's great. Oh my god, my weapons are to level up. Why haven't I leveled this up? Wait, 
turn. Uh, this time, test your courage. Nope. Can I fish here? Oh, okay. I don't remember what to use here. To be honest, y'all. Stop moving a little bit. Ow. Alright, now I'm, I'm just gonna fuck you guys up now. Fucking ass for it. <clears throat> Bitch. Handle. I think that's to get past whatever's over there. That bridge over there. I think you guys see it on the map. Top right. Where all that juicy loot is left. This. Open this. Open this. And let's blast ourselves out of here. Boom. Floor two. Oh, thirsty floor, no. Grab that. Ooh, big chest. No, don't give up. Martin Garion's gonna show the way. Uh, steel slingshot. Great. Very useful. Oh. What the fuck is shooting me? Oh, whoa. Those things are also cannons. What the fuck is that? Very uncool. Also, holy attribute is not doing much here. Uh, let's try it. Just ice, yeah. The strongest attribute. Oh, it does no damage to her. Ow. Mutually assured destruction. Hell yeah. This is gonna be an annoying dungeon, I can see from just the start of the map layout. Yeah, that layout sucks. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, what else could happen? And I don't even need to go to that last. Oh no, I still need to go over there. So I still don't have the gunpowder. Grab it. Come head up, grab a drink of water. And then leave. Is there something in front of me as soon as I spawn? No. Oh, that thing hurts. 
Whoa. Okay. Gotta be careful of that. This destroys durability. Jeez. Oh, no! My auto repair! Oh man, this thing destroys their ability on weapons. I'm the axe chopper! Okay, so for those moon bugs, I should let Ruby handle them. Of course, half the map would be on this fucking side. I don't know, you can just fuck them up. Might not be quite as strong as Dumpy, but... Muffin's still pretty strong. Oh, and there's that. I can just fucking dip. I don't give a shit about anything else. Alright, see you in the next floor. Oh! A ruby only floor. I mean, as soon as I find this key, I'm fucking out of here. Is she seriously not gonna drop till the last fucking monster dies? How is that cool? Oh no, hell, thank you. Fuck, them. Fuck that shit. How the hell is that reasonable? You can hit me over the bridge. Unbelievable. See, now I don't mind limited floors because most of my people can handle it. With the exception of Mr. Bean right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Steve. I wouldn't have to. God damn it, Steve. But we have the powder, so we can just grab the uh, little stones and leave. Maybe grab a chest or two. Maybe grab the chest. Oh, hell yeah. Crown. And... No, grab the thing. An urn. It's worth going over there just because that circle might give me full abs. Damn it. Alright, well. Fucking okay, get me on the bridge! Now I can leave. I forgot I was doing the upgrade through the platinum ring. Um. Oh, hey! Now we need, uh... Nick and Mr. Bean to see how they shoot out of the cannon. Another thirsty floor, no! Damn it. Please drop the thing, please drop the thing. Damn it. Elephant. 
emblem. Stop it. Why is a fish wearing scuba gear? That's an excellent question, Steve. Oh, there's werewolves now. Go away. I haven't seen those since the forest. Okay. Easy. My grand's feather, no. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna oh I don't have not planned this out yet, so I'm just gonna ignore it and avoid it and just swap out. Alright, can I have that gunpowder now please? Fuck. Oh, I don't want that. It's gonna rot, you prick. Oh, thank God. Okay, now I can sprint around. Look for or open chests. Maybe I can find the purple thing. No, the hand. Great. Because I can't see if that's all of the things or if I can leave. Oh, okay, I can just leave. Hell yeah. Fuck this place. I wonder how far I can go before the story stops me. I don't remember. Well, obviously further than seven, because there's Atlas Stones here. See how Nick deals with these guys. Oh, one shot still. Great. Hey, nice job, Nick. No oh, one shots them with a special attack. Normal attack is two. Still not bad though. Feels so good to squish those guys. They're the worst. Oh, I am in a bad spot. I am in a very bad spot. Got it. Okay, so now we just gotta run, grab all the stones, and just fucking dip. Completely different strategy than what it used to be. Ooh, I got a finger. Escape powder. And the purple stone, hell yeah. Grab the money.
No, my money. Don't want anything to do with that. Whatever that is, I hate it. Here's some tip. Ah! Bye! I mean, one of those two things is a map, so I don't care. I don't give two shits about it. Oh no, I forgot to switch again. Is this it? Yes it is! Cutscene! Here we go! New party member! Oh. Huh? What's happened? Oh, that's right. During the test flight, the body fell apart. Darn, I wonder what went wrong. In theory, it was supposed to be perfect, and I thought I saw a part turn into a weird ball. Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, and who are you? Well, anyway, let's go back. Hell yeah. So cool. Seems like they're from Blue Terra. So why are they here? Dark Genie? Oh, that. I saw it with the big telescope. He's not that strong. The Blue Terror folks need help if such a weak enemy is giving them that much trouble. What? Seal it? You must be kidding. Sealing? No one does that anymore. Yikes. Most likely no one in Yellow Drop knows or remembers how to seal. Sealing's when you trap something in an urn or something, something, right? That is impossible. Uh oh. Wait up. I haven't said not, no yet. I just said the sealing technique was difficult. There's a better way than sealing. Just fight him to beat him. Don't worry, I will take care of it. Count on me. Here's the plan. I am in the process of making a so called sun giant. It is a state of the art in yellow drop technology. Simply put, it's like a supersized golem. With the sun giant's power, it'll easily take out the dark genie. But then this very sun giant went crazy and shattered itself during the test run. The magical gem we have now is not strong enough to power the sun giant. We need the sun sphere to properly complete the sun giant. A sun sphere is one of the most powerful of the magical gems. With its power, we can get the Sun Giant running at 100%. It has been put up as the prize for the competition at the Coliseum. All you have to do is win the match for us to get our hands on it. I'm making it sound simple, but it's going to be tough to win that match. So that means we have to join forces and fight together. I'm gonna call you Trebop. <laughs> Slap my hand, dick. Oh, I used the zero instead of the no. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, Trey Bob. Trey Bob is now an ally. Great. Oh well, uh, well, I guess that is what we're calling it apart for now. That is, uh, the new party member, originally known as Osbond, and now known as Trey Bob. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think. Uh, we're almost done with the game, so get hyped up for that. 
Uh, anyway, uh, sorry, I blanked out for a sec. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, and bye-bye.